Surf's up, dog. <laughs> With no snow melt season to speak of, it can be a little bit hard to schedule in your kayaking in the UK, but one of, we are surrounded by one of the best training grounds you could ever have, the ocean. Kayaking out on a sick day in the ocean is back to back, some of the hardest moves you'll have to make over and over again until you get out the back. Then you surf in and do it all over again. Let's go. Definitely not many good waves to be had today. But what a sick workout. Constantly sprinting and boosting over all these things. Oh! a cold this winter, I have the cure. You go to the ocean in your kayak, preferably with at least 20 mile an hour onshore winds. So that'll clear your nose straight out. It's all about the snow exhaust today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're here. One of the spots I grew up learning a bunch of stuff at, Milan Mill. I'm stoked. It's been a few years since we've had such a solid crew of junior shredders here and uh, these boys are fired up to try and hit all the tricks here. This is a place where I learned a lot of mine and I'm stoked to share some tips and hopefully we'll hit some good ones today. It's going to be sick. That was sick. That was sick. Nice. 
nice one, mate. I was wondering what gear to wear today, and I was like, ah, I'll wear the dry suit. Maybe I'll get in the water and help the kids out. <laughs> We've been in the water for like half an hour now. <laughs> Not doing too bad, though. Not doing too bad. Oh, it's pretty cool. Mikey? Yeah. Mikey hit some huge loops on the flat. We're working on trying to keep them straight, but he was going massive, super sick. Jacob was crushing some loops. And what is he swapped kayak? Where's Sam, Jacob? Sam. Where's he gone? And, and Sam is like, Sam is like this close. Have you done one before? No. Okay, that's it. We're gonna be in the water until he gets it. <laughs> We're getting so close already. Sam. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we are here, fourth stop of the Park Jam over at Teesside. Huge shout out to the Tees Barrage and the local kayak shop here for opening up for us. They weren't scheduled to be open, we told them we wanted to come and they were like, we want you to come and shred with the local kayakers and they opened up, we're going to release the water and we're going to have a sick day out here. Last stop of the park jams down here in Glasgow. The uh, sun is just about to go down. The water, the pumps are about to turn on, and uh, we'll get a session on this park. I love this community here. There's always so much stoke and hype and energy. They have the floodlit course on, and they have the the music going, and it's just such a vibe here. Best part about this park for me is these pumps. They make a pretty gnarly pour over hole. I'm going to have to set the example and go straight in there, but I hope we will see some savage rides in there just tonight. <laughs>
many sick sessions up and down the country at all of those parks. I loved it. Massive thanks to everyone that showed up and came out and got stuck in. Those are always my favourite sessions out on the water. You know, you rock up with your crew at a spot and you're just pushing each other to hit a new line or to learn a new trick or to just do something creative, you know? And I love that we have those atmospheres so many times at the park jams and that we have those breakthrough moments where people hit things for the first time. That's so cool to me. That being said, by far the raddest thing about these jam sessions for me is just getting a bunch of people out on the water and having a good time together. So whether you were hitting new tricks or you were just wobbling down the park for your first time or you were just hanging out with your mates at your local spot, that was so rad and thanks for being a part of it. I loved all those sessions and I can't wait for next year. Huge thanks to Palm and Piranha for sponsoring this year's tour and sending us around the country with their team members for everyone involved that helped this thing to run smoothly, to the venues for having us and to everyone that came out and, and went shredding. That was so cool. And yeah, I'm hyped for next year and I'll catch you guys either on the water or in the next video.